Philippians 2 and 3, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each other esteem other better than themselves. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shah, Yahweh, Shai, by Shemr Kakadash, Double honor to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Hawking, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, with charity. If anybody's living sacrifice, we who are ready to live salute you. So, uh, I just want to go into this um, particular lesson. You know, um, right, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Okay. Now, um, Right uh, now, recently, um, there's been an emergence of um, of guys uh, uh, revealing themselves. Okay, one guy in particular. You no, know, I'm thinking about this guy, Judah Judah Maccabees, man. Which personally, I never fucked with that guy. All right, when I first saw him through the spirit. I felt like this dude was off when I first saw him. Guy always was lined up, you know, his beard's always lined up. You know, you know, uh, bald head. I never fucked with that dude. Plus he just, his spirit was just off. You know, certain brothers gave him benefit of the doubt. I never did, you know, that was just me personally. Um, you know, not trying, no kudos to me, you know, cause shit, I might not be you know, Lord willing, I'll be of the elect, but, you know, you know, not, not that I'm glad to, to see that man, you know, fall or anything, but, uh, I can't say I didn't see it coming, you know, but I will say this, you know, we should do nothing through, uh, strife, man, and vain glory, man, and, you know, there's been times where, um, cause the thing now is, uh, this King David thing, all right, and of course the apostles uh, believe that Masha is King David. And if you're going to be in Great Millstone, you know what I mean. You know, Great 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 Millstone has a, a criteria, okay, a curriculum that we teach. And as Scripture says, we all have to speak the same things. And we and I and uh, I was taught, you know, um, the breakdowns on reincarnation by Great Millstone. You know, I had heard, 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 I knew about reincarnation through, uh, you know, because when I first came in, um, I was watching Zabak, you know, uh, HOI or whatever. But um, I don't know if they were called HOI then, but um, I was watching them, so I knew a little bit, something about it. But I really got the major breakdowns on reincarnation through Great Millstone. So, this is you know, something we believe. We believe that the men of the Lord come back. Okay, so let's establish that. The apostles, they believe that they know who King David is. Okay. Um, who can argue with that? I mean, you know, when we debate, we argue over scriptures, you know, and there have been brothers, you know, there's been times I've argued with brothers over scriptures and debated, you know, but overall, we have a set curriculum at Great Millstone. And just like any school of learning, you have to go with that curriculum to be a part of that um, organization. You don't buck up against that. Now, has it crossed my mind that somebody else could be King David? It has, you know, but I, that that's something I don't know. So I'm not going to argue that. And the whole spirit of that is just vainglory, man. It's all vainglory, you know. See, we're we're here to speak things that accompany salvation, man. We're here to show you the way and learn the way and be, and teach the way to salvation. These are the things that are are important, man. Now, if the apostles were wrong or are wrong about who King David is, look, man, I'm not trying to find that out until the kingdom, man. OK, I'm not here to uh, debate that. That's something I don't know. Do I do I believe that Masha could be King David? Yeah, very well. He could be, you know, am I 100 percent sure that he is? I mean, I can't honestly say that. 
but that's that's not something I'm gonna argue with. And as for a member of Great Millstone, look, I believe that the men of the Lord are reincarnated. I believe that if anybody had a, a, a good idea of who um, King David is, it would be the apostles of Great Millstone. But at the end of the day, that's not my argument. That's not why I'm here. Okay, I'm here to 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 uh, preach the word and hopefully be delivered, man, and and uh, stick to things that accompany salvation, man. So the whole spirit of this whole King David demon that's going on is just, is just, like matter of fact, let me bring this scripture out. This is Proverbs 13 and 10. All right. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well-advised is wisdom. See, this is pride, man. These are men that are being proud and they want to make a name for themselves, man. I'll tell you who King David is. Nigga, you don't know who King David is, man. And the apostles would tell you, look, we believe this is by faith. This is our faith. You know? So if you see a guy who's who's um constantly pushing that they that that, that they don't know who I mean with that that uh, King David is not my Shah, you know, these are these are arguments for somebody who's uh proud, man. And somebody who who doesn't know what they're a part of, they've lost the vision, they've lost the goal of why we're here. These, they, 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 or they never knew, you know, they never really knew what this was all about. Okay. The Lord is not going to show up in the big ass chariot and riddle me this. If you want to be saved, tell me who King David was in his last reincarnation and you will be delivered. That's not fucking going to happen, man. Okay. You know, what, what did uh, 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 Samuel tell uh, Saul? He said, he said to obey is better than sacrifice, man. You know? Okay, to be obedient. All right, and I understand that these are the men that the Lord set up, man. So I don't have no argument with them, man. I don't have no argument with the Lord, the men that the Lord set up, man. Okay? I don't have no argument with them. And for me to create an argument, especially off something so petty, man, something so insignificant, man, it uh, it really shows the intent, you know, behind these men's sacrifice, man. See, what we're doing is we're giving a sacrifice of our lips. What we're doing is we're sacrificing, man, you know, and there's a certain there's a such a thing as a fucked up sacrifice, man. You can't just throw any damn thing on the altar, man. And a lot of these guys' sacrifices are going to be rejected. Let's see. Let me get it. Uh, let me see if I can find this scripture. Okay. All right. A lot of these uh, 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 guys' sacrifices are going to be rejected. Okay. Um, bear with me. Uh, yeah, this is uh Proverbs. Uh, this is Proverbs twenty one and twenty seven. The sacrifice of a of the wicked is abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? So a lot of you guys will come into uh, the, the altar, so to speak, the proverbial altar, to uh, with a tainted sacrifice, man. Okay, you know these guys made it made, are, are making this about themselves, man. You know what they believe they want to be the man. You know that's what this is all about, man. You know, they've totally lost sight, like I said, if they ever had, um, you know, that division of what this is all about, man. We're here to repent, man, to be sorrowful for what we've done and to, uh, hey, look, and, and not to grieve our, 
our, our, our elders, man, as the scripture says, this is not profitable for you, man. Okay? So the whole intent behind it is off, man. You know, the whole intent behind it is off, man. You know? And now, of course, there's, you know, sometimes, you know, brothers get among among yourselves. You know, I think this guy might be this guy, or I think that guy might be that guy. Okay, that's some shit conversation that that brothers have, you know, uh, um, amongst themselves, man. It, it's, it's not um, it's, it's not even important, man, really. We'll find that stuff out in the kingdom, man. You know, Lord willing, we, you know, we make it on this first go around, man. You know, either way we're going, but, you know, I, I'd rather take the, uh, you know, the, the first class way. A lot of you niggas, you're going to you're gonna get a dishonorable discharge, man. All because of your intent is fucked up, man. So here it is, you've been doing this work and you never really believed what was taught at Great Millstone. You never really believed it, man. You know, you were really uh, waiting for your opportunity uh, uh, to reveal yourself as a fucking demon, man. You know, and, and, and here you are, man. You know, with this argument about King David, man. And how's that edifying, man? How is something that you can't prove? See, because there's certain things in the scriptures, man, that, you know, you just take on faith. Hey, if I if one brother believes that Leviathan has purple scales, uh, uh, with green spikes, man. Hey, I can't fucking argue that, man. Because I don't know. Uh, uh, um, I've never seen Leviathan, man. You know? So for me to ar argue whether or not Marshall is King David, I, look, I didn't see uh, uh, King David's spirit go into the spirit world and come down into a baby and, and, and see who that baby was. So I don't fucking know, man. You know, just be honest with you. But, you know, like like I said, I believe that the apostles are men of the Lord. I believe the Lord set them up, and that's what they believe. So, you know, I'm going with that, man. You know, I, I mean, I need, I, I need a guide, man. You didn't get this on your own, man. A lot of these niggas, man, look, man, you forgot where you, the scripture says, um, of know, uh, 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 knowing of whom you have learned them, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, man. Continuing in the things you have learned, man, and knowing the thing and knowing whom you have learned it, man. A lot of you men, you're not continuing in what you were taught. You're not teaching what was taught, you know, and you're definitely not uh, remembering or giving reverence to whom you learned them from. Okay, you're turning and and rending. Uh, uh, hey, that's why the scriptures say, "Cast not your pearls before swine," you know. But you know, we you know we didn't know. You know, you, 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 you can't know off bat who is swine until they reveal themselves to be that, of course, you know. But it really sucks to see, you know, somebody giving this uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding then shitting on it, you know, in the way that these men are doing it, man. It, it's very fucking frustrating, man, you know, to see, man, you know. So, so you know, we really got to check our intent. Why are we saying what we saying, man? Why do we believe what we believe, man? You know, when you when you bring a, a sacrifice to the Lord, man, you're in, you know the Lord search, as the scripture says, the Lord searches the heart and the reins, man. He's searching our hearts, man. You know, so if you come with a sacrifice, hey, you know what? The sacrifice could be right. It could be on point. It could be without blemish. But then your intent could be fucked up, man. Which which makes the sacrifice shit, man. You know. You know you have strife, you have contention, you have uh, your own uh, agenda. You know, your own uh, want to be famous. It, it, it's no more about the uh, salvation. It, it's it's more. It's about you, man. You know. And what you think and what you believe. The scripture says, lean not to your own understanding, man. You know? Um, let me get another scripture.
according to God's mind, he will recompense them whether thou pursuest or whether thou shootest, and not I, therefore speak what thou knowest is right. Okay, so to be according to your mind, you know, this thing is, doesn't have anything to do with our mind. The scripture says, um, you know, the Lord said, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, man. So we got to keep in mind, man, you know, the Lord's thoughts are, are way above ours, man. And he set up men who are more spiritually connected than we are, man. These are our guys. These are our heads. These are our teachers. This is, this is, these are the, the men that are gathering out the stones and showing us the path. This is the way walk ye in it, man. And that's what's important, man. You know, we have to literally be like sheep, man. We have to literally be like children, man. You know, we have to be guided and instructed, man. You know, and uh, you have certain men that have gone far away from that way, man. You know, just because they want to be right, man. You know, let's say you are right about King David. You know, let's say you, let's say, nigga, you, you know, I'm thinking about this guy, Judah Maccabees, and this other nigga that's supposed to be with him, or any other nigga who, who got the King David demon on him. Let's say you are right. You know, you say you're right. Oh, well, Masha wasn't King David. Guess we were wrong. You know, he actually turned out to be Samuel. And, uh, oh, this guy's King David. Let's say you find that, that you no, know, let's say that's the, the, the case, right? Well, you still might just get fucking destroyed because of your fucking disobedience, man. Okay? Just be because of your contention. All right? Uh, because you were sowing discord between brethren, which really is what these niggas are doing, man. You know, when you when you go against the the, the apostles and what and what's being taught, that's you trying to gather uh, men to yourself, man. That's you trying to uh, dissimulate, man. That's you trying to um, break up, man. Uh, uh, brother, the brotherhood, man. You really fucking worse than you're just as bad or worse than Esau. Well, you're worse than Esau because you're an Israelite, man, physically. All right. And you're trying to uh, uh, break our bands asunder, man, cast away our cords, man. You know, you're trying to uh, 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 and the Lord hates that, man. Him that sows, sows discord between brethren, man. You know, so you, you're going to get a hell of a judgment, man. You know, and we, we, we're not to do that, man. We, we, we're to speak the same thing, keeping the bond of peace, man. The bond of peace, man. And you, you niggas have broken the bond of peace, man. All because you want to be right, man. You can, you know, and like I said, hey, say you are right. You say you are right about who King David is. All that just to get destroyed. Well, hey, hey looks like he was right. Show him what he won, a fucking nuclear missile. Fucking uh, uh, Vanna White <laughs> from Wheel of Fortune, fucking show your ass a damn nuke, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you just get fucking destroyed, man. Yeah, you were right, but you didn't make it, nigga. And hey, we were wrong, and we still got delivered because our intent was correct. You see how you see you niggas do not understand how the Lord works at all, man. You don't fucking get it, man. This thing is not about being right, man. You know, scriptures talk about suffering wrongfully, man. You could be, uh, uh, let's say you were right about something. You know, let's say you were, were right about something. Shut the fuck up and get in line, man. Okay? All right, shut the fuck up and get in line, man. Hey, just like in any army, man. You know, I was right about the, you know, you in the Vietnam War. I was right about the... No, Charlie being in the hills right there, you know. Yeah, but you disobeyed a, a direct order. So, you know, you get a dishonorable discharge, nigga. Or you get a demotion. So, uh, yeah, you know, you were right about that. You know, but guess what? <laughs> you was out of fucking order. <laughs> All, uh, yeah, you were right just to get destroyed, you know. You know, this thing's not about being a, a being right, man. You know, and then again, end of the day, you don't fucking know. You arguing about some shit you have no idea about, man. You do not know who the fuck King David is, man, or who he isn't, man. You know. So, 
you know, it's just niggas revealing themselves and, you know, we got to pray that, you know, the Lord don't put no demon like that on us, man. You know, have us bucking up, you know. And like, you know, you know, like I read earlier, man, it's all just strife and vain glory, man. It's all it is, man. Vain glory, you know. We're not to seek vain glory, you know. That's the difference between us and these men, man. You have some men that are seeking salvation and redemption, and and you know they're like that man that, that beat on his chest and uh, said, uh, "Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner." You know that are really repentant, man. You have men that are very repentant, man, and truly sorry for what they've done, and that's why they're here, man, because they seek a reward for a blameless soul, man. Some men don't see that, and then you have other men, you know, that are um here for vain glory, man. You know, here to receive uh, uh, gifts now. Hey, like, um, um, like, uh, what's that? I think that, I think his name was Gehazi. Uh, um, you know, uh, I guess he was a servant of Elisha. And, um, uh, he went to, um, Naaman, I believe his name was Naaman, to receive gifts after uh, Elisha healed him of um, uh, of his uh, leprosy, man. He went to seek those gifts. And uh, what did Elisha tell him? He said, is it time for you to uh, receive gifts, man? You know, is it, is it time to receive these gifts right now? You know, hey, and that leprosy, he put that leprosy on him, man, you know. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I said anything wrong in that story, but that's what the comic board is for. Um, but yeah, it's not time for us to receive gifts and glory right now, especially vain glory, man. Uh, Self gratification and all that bullshit, man. Th that's what that's what we're seeing right now, man. You know, anybody who goes against what we're teaching here, you know, you know. So, hey, we're here to teach what, what, what is taught, man. The scripture says, other men have labored and we are entered into their labors, man. The scripture says, take heed how ye build, man. We've been given a blueprint. If you didn't want to take the job, you didn't have to take the job, man. If you felt like the building was wrong, then you should have fucking went somewhere else, man. But, hey, if you're here, if you're here and you're Great Millstone, you're going to follow the motherfucking blueprint, man. You're going to get the fuck off the work site, man. And fuck you very much for wasting our time, man. You know? Well, you really wasted the, your, your your own time, really. You know? Because we're going to edify anyway, man. But, um, you know, that's about it. I, you know, that's my two cents on the whole matter, man. You know, all that, you know, the, you know, be, trying to be right. You know, say you are right, yeah, but you still get destroyed right to to die nigga you know um all praises on the glory to yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem rakadash double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone salutation to you akim pushing this word with truth sincerity with charity presenting your bodies to live and sacrifice we who are ready to live salute you shalom woman of above